Welcome to Fast Five, where our four panelists weigh in on five separate topics. Let's get started. First topic, Mars hides a gigantic ice sheet that may help astronauts out. Colin? Um, well, uh, I think we've known this for a while, so at one point Mars, before the effects of radiation and the fact that it doesn't have a very large metallic core that would generate a magnetic field was stripped away. Mars had oceans and rivers and everything else. So when the atmosphere was stripped away, some portion of the water left and some portion of the water stuck at the poles. I think that's great because ultimately, as a species, we need to expand our real estate. Right. Mars is the next logical place in, in the solar system, has the most friendly, although still very hostile climate. And if we have water there, it makes colonization a lot easier. We're in right. the beginning stages of colonization. Right. There's a lot of water in the asteroid belt as well, and in the Kuiper belt, and other places. So I think, mark my words, you know, we, we have changed very much as a species technologically in the last hundred years. I guarantee you within a hundred years, we will be all over the solar system, unless we manage to destroy ourselves in the process. Yeah, which we might. And yeah. 300 million years ago, this area here of the, of the country, Washington County, Hagerstown, was in part of the equator. Yes. And that's how you have uh, the limestone that we have, the severe limestone. So I wonder if we can take, take some, what has happened here over that period of time, uh, what was really on Mars at that particular time? How has that changed over this entire time? Or doesn't the planets change as Earth changed? Well, I don't, I don't think plate tectonics is a, is a process that occurs on Mars because it, the, the, it's a smaller planet. I think the the the, the core is much. But there was water yeah. there. Yes. Yep. Absolutely. There was water there. Yep. There and were there oceans. was water here. Oceans right here where sure. we are tonight. Absolutely. All right. Number two. Swiss reject plan to speed up exit from nuclear energy. Ron. Wow. That uh, that was a vote fifty five to. I think 55 to 45, where okay. it was a relatively close vote. Uh, they wanted to, I think it was the Green Party that wanted the... Uh, Ken's party. Did the, they ask for no. a recount? Yes, they, I, don't, <laughs> I don't know if they've asked yet, but, but um, uh, they wanted, by 2029, they wanted their nuclear power plants uh, shut down, two of them. They wanted two of them shut down. Um, and the, po the public said no. 55% yeah. of the public said, we don't want them shut down, keep them open. Yeah. yeah, and we were just talking about, you know, our oil reserves. Well, a nuclear power plant has a lot more life in it than a oil reserve really does, if you really think about it long term. Oh, it does. And it, look, I, and we went through the cycle, especially in the, in the 80s, nuclear power was evil. Nuclear power is not a bad thing, as long as it's done safely. Exactly. It is, it's, it's much less polluting if it's if it's done properly and i think we can agree that the swiss probably know a few things about running mechanical things exactly uh, especially watches right yeah things like watches and gauges and yeah. other geared things so i i'm sure that they're they're nuclear you know barring something like what happened in fukushima which was yeah. a natural disaster or chernobyl which was which was communists not knowing what they were doing. So well, Fukushima was up. a tsunami. Uh, right. Chernobyl was just neglect. Yeah. Or <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. As as with Poor any, management. Yeah. As with anything <laughs> that the that the Soviets did, you know, it's it's amazing that they ever were able to get a uh, or a, a spaceship up into space. That they were ever ever able to build a nuclear bomb or a nuclear reactor. Yep. They somehow managed to do it, but not very well. Well, All Sputnik right. made it. Going on. More Americans shopped online than in stores over Black Friday weekend. Did either of you gentlemen go uh, Black Friday shopping? No. No? I did, I did online, but I didn't go Black you, uh, you Friday didn't go, shopping. Yeah. I did not. You know, I, I, personally, I always love working on Black Fridays because, well, nobody's in the office that day because most people take off the day after Yeah, but you've got another reason for that that you're not sharing. Well, yeah, because I, I don't want to go Black Friday shopping. <laughs> <laughs> well, and look... I have not been out shopping on Black Friday probably in 15 years, ever since online yeah. shopping came on. And the only reason people, you know, it's, I worked I, in retail security when I was in college. Yeah, I have working witnessed, retail sucks. I have, wor I have, I have witnessed fistfights. Yep. I have witnessed all kinds of things that happen on Black Friday. It's ludicrous. <laughs> so, speaking of retail, a lot of the exit strategies for retail is often Powerball which there was one winning number in the 421 million Powerball lottery. 
So did either of you gentlemen uh, purchase that ticket? I think it was uh, sold down in Tennessee, wasn't it? Yes, it was so, sold in Tennessee. Here. Yeah, I, I, I really, really hope that whoever in Tennessee got that ticket ends up helping out the Gatlinburg area. That's, oh. that's just my personal thought. What a good idea. I, 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 I hope he becomes my best friend. <laughs> <laughs> Was it a group of factory workers? That's awesome. That's good. And then finally, death toll from Australia's thunderstorm asthma reaches six. So here's, I'm going to plead complete ignorance. Yeah, I didn't even know they named thunderstorms in Australia. The thunderstorm is when there is a thunderstorm, the pollen that's in the air it creates asthma attacks. Creates uh, the, the the thunderstorm okay. and the right. rain. So they didn't name it asthma. Yeah. It was it was it's, actually yeah. It's it's okay. actually an asthma, asthma caused by that the goes through the hairs in the nose and okay. into the lungs and creates the problem with people uh, breathing. And it's a very serious. I, I can't understand why it is. You know, it's like sitting here at the table and watching a bug walk across the table in front of us. <laughs> it's it, you wonder how those kind of things can happen. Right. But here you have a thunderstorm. It gathers the pollen, mm -hmm. and through the particles of the rain and particles of the thunderstorm, it's able to disseminate it. People breathe it, goes into their nose and mm. into their lungs, that's and that's a shame. what. Uh, now is that because uh, so it, it's winter down? Well, it, it's summer. It's spring down there. So yes. is it the wet season? Maybe in the outback? Is that where the that's pollen is coming where from? That's where it is. Ah, gotcha. Yes. All right. So stay tuned. Last call is next.